you know, we've been promising our listeners, right. Kristen, that we were going to talk about your home staging mm -hmm. checklist. Okay. And I'm up on your website, which is Dream Home Impressions. Then please tell me what it says, Brenna. I remember a few, but yes. I will, because I think that it's very basic. We don't have to get into it mm -hmm. word for word, because we have a lot of other questions to ask you I'm in the, in the <laughs> end of the hour here. But um, it's it's good to go to DreamHomeImpressions2.com to check out this home staging checklist, because you can really, you know, get some things kind of thoughts going in your own head on what you can do to prepare and it's so even having a realtor to your mm -hmm. home so we talked about repairing things you know that's probably a no-brainer um also decluttering that's probably one of the most difficult things to do from personal experience mm -hmm. bring in also, a friend that's objective i mean it sounds funny but some yeah. of my i decided when i turned 40 i had dinner with my friends and we said there's no more lying and everybody's going to be direct and just get <laughs> over it Right. And so, yeah, bring somebody that's going to help you. One of the things we didn't talk about that's hugely important is to clean. Um, one person's standard of clean is not necessarily another person's standard of clean. So that's a very good tip you have here in this article. Also to rearrange. Um, let's talk about rearranging a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, is there any one big faux pas that people do when they're yeah. decorating their own homes? That... Decorating, you can do anything you want. That's what I tell people. If you like it, do it and pick your colors they can be anything you like it doesn't have to, but you're not if you're selling your home you've got to get over that i mean that's why i said home staging don't take it personally you have to do neutral colors even if you like things that mm -hmm. means if you have a couch with a pattern on it cover it up you mm -hmm. can do that you talk if you're careful and you and you could there i like your thing about the 100 percent cotton and why people should be looking those routes you can use a lot of things, a lot of ways to cover things up, and that's where staging the background, I think, really helps. Okay. Uh, but anyway, as staging your house goes, you got to make sure people can walk clearly through and it's not personalized. Get rid of stuff. Clean stuff like you never have. Okay. Um, well, Kristen, how do you incorporate the staging uh, part of your business with your real estate business? Can you go over that with us a little bit? You know, it's kind of – it's. This is what I, with the staging, and I started out just doing staging, and, and um, Danielle, when this totally encouraged me to do it, and I decided, honestly, to make more money if I could, mm -hmm. which never, you know, never hurts. I love what I do, mm -hmm. but you do work for a reason also. Yep. And so what I do is I do not charge any staging costs if I list your house. Okay, what if I don't list my house, and I have just, I just black out when my wife and I go shopping, we don't know what to buy for the walls, like decorate, decorative stuff, we black out, we just totally, I don't know what to buy, and then years go by, and we don't have anything on the walls. Okay, years go by, yeah, you use uh, a decor, there's you, decorating services, and yes, that do you, is Do you do that, or no? I do do decorating okay. um, for people, okay. and Michelle does also, and we will shop for you, and mm -hmm. we make a lot of things. That's the, the key is to make okay. things out of what you have if you're trying to save money. That's Speaking it. of that, you had a great tip you said during break that I think you should share with our listeners because I'm going to take, oh. take it to heart when I'm shopping for decor for my own home. You said to buy um, holiday items in solid color. Give right. me an example of what well, you, were, you were talking about there. My mind got going on me like it usually does. <laughs> I was in Walmart. And uh, looking at Christmas items and saying, okay, how could I use those differently? I mean, that's the key to staging and, and having that eye to know how you use things differently. So if you buy all red things, I'm like, okay, great, red Christmas bulbs. What am I going to do? Well, you could paint hearts on them. Could you use that at Christmas and Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. Of course you could. Mm -hmm. Gift bags, same thing. Have your kids put a handprint on them. I use brown paper. We used all brown paper bags mm -hmm. for our under our Christmas tree for gifts Oh, wow. this year. And we took and we taped them over and I laughed. My husband always puts clues on all the kegs. Now the boys have gotten involved and Jack and Nick did a, a good job. You know, do that, look outside, mm -hmm. get some greens out there. But when you're looking, um, what are some of the things I wrote down? I don't know, okay, holiday, tinsel, same thing. All these things can be used again. Use your shredder with the brown, what we did with the brown paper bags. I even, we even said, they said, okay, how else are we gonna use these? You can shred that brown paper for in the bottom of things. If you see a gift oh, basket in Walmart, uses. spray paint it. Mm. I mean, and, and if you keep with that green, green is great, the color, because if you buy a vase, buy a clear one or a green one. Green, same, 
That's my favorite holiday to decorate for, by the way. Isn't that funny? St. Mm. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but Easter green. Same thing with your napkins, Brenna. Do I don't solid know about colors you. with ribbons. I don't know about <laughs> you, but I'm not decorating on St. Patrick's Day. How about you, Patrick? Uh, no, both of us are not decorating. We're doing something else. That well, I'll decorate for you, and you can, and it can Thank be you. welcome home. But Thank no, you. buy solid colors that you you always and you said about recycling. It's also saving you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. If you can't use it again or a different way, why mm -hmm. are you buying it? I mean, good point. Yeah. Same thing with especially gift bags. You know how cute you can make a gift, just a brown paper bag, and you can have your kids sponge things on them or hand. Plus, it keeps your kids busy. Yeah. I mean, sorry, but you need to think of things to do besides mm -hmm. that they can put their hands on. True. You know, um, it sounds like there's an element of environmental responsibility to home staging, at least home staging with, uh, with, with you, Kristen. Well, you try and be. And also, if I am staging a home, obviously what I will do, and what we found, Michelle and I have found this more recently, there's some items sometimes you just have to go and buy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's fine. But we have a whole barn inventory, and to be cost effective, and it goes along with the recycling. Yeah. I will put curtains in the house. I always use shears because shears let in a lot of light. And again, it's a neutral thing. Yeah. Well, we you reuse them. If they have to go in the sale of the home, okay. But you reuse everything. We bring it in. We take it back. Mm -hmm. Putting it away is not my strength. But in the right places, <laughs> Michelle's very organized, oh. thank God. I was and just going to ask you if that's why you're married. My husband is the most amazing, and I'm not saying it. He's a very patient man. I'm just kidding. Awesome. I'm not. <laughs> we have, uh, can I ask one quick question before we go? Because this is pretty cool. It's, it's something that separates you against, again from your competition. What is a gourmet open house that you provide? I saw that on your website. There is another reason for the weight gain since the picture. I love <laughs> to bake. Okay. I have two ovens. And, and the other thing is, like, you know, you're not trying to play tricks on people, but you're trying to get ideas in that. Bake for your open houses. Make it smell like chocolate chip cookies and put those things out. Awesome. We've had a wonderful visit with you today, Kristen. We thank can't you so thank much. you enough. I want to tell our listeners one one tip that you threw out real quick that I thought was the best one I heard all day, and that's if, you're, if, if your realtor knows who's coming through the home, that they can switch out items like comforters to make it a, a, apply to a, a couple with a boy or a girl. I love that.